Proverbs 18, a man who isolates himself seeks his own desire. The devil is after our covenant in our marriage, our children, our church covering, our businesses. He, he wants to stop covenant relationships that are built around the kingdom that will help you get to where you need to be. Covenant is there to humble us. Satan was cast out of heaven because he tried to equalize himself with God in admiration of his own beauty. That same spirit that causes people to leave the church. They say, don't they see my beauty, my splendor? They look for the fault in the leadership's eye. Meanwhile, Satan all the time is painting a bullseye on your back to remove the favor and blessing of God to get you to be disobedient. The devil has an open door when we are not walking in covenant. The church has become good at quoting, and I'll bring this in for a landing, that we're good at quoting, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Korabashanda, right? Come on, every one of us can quote that. But let's get down and let's, say, let's see what it really says. Let's see the condition on that. James chapter 4. You adulterous people, don't you know that your friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Where are the shundas now? Or do you think Scripture says without reason that jealousy longs for the spirit he caused to dwell in us? But he gives us more grace. That is why the Scripture says God opposes the proud, but he shows favor to the humble. Now, here we go. Submit yourselves then to God. There's a condition. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve and mourn and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. Come on, a place of humility isn't a false humility. There's a place, time to fast and all that, but a place of true humility is to know that we should have almost a posture of, Lord, I, I, without you, I can't do any of this. I can be replaced tomorrow. You can, you, I don't even know why you chose me, God. Not false, because you could have chosen a lot of people that had a lot better qualifications, but you chose me. And keep that posture of humility of knowing that everything that you have comes from God, but also knowing that if you're in that pit, there is no way the devil can keep you there if you humble yourself before God and allow him to bring you out. So getting back to the very beginning, God is purifying his church. He wants us to go deeper with him. If I could have some, uh, a piano player to come up for just a moment, I'm going to give you an altar call to allow God to do some work in your hearts. Whether you come to the altar or remain at your seat. But God wants to go deeper with you. He wants to ignite the hope in your spirit today. It might be hope that is an ember that is, you don't even know that it's flickering down there. But it can't go out because God planted it in your spirit. It might be burning so bright that you're that 17-year-old sharing your dream to everybody. But God has you in a place where he wants to ignite your hope today because we are entering into a season where that hope is going to come to a manifestation in your life. For some, it will be going from the prison to the prime minister. For some, it will be that. For some that have labored, that have been obedient, that have sown, God's going to put you in that place. For others... He's going to make you prosper wherever you go. He's going to prosper you. There's so many symbolic stories in the Bible, and the Holy Spirit will speak to the one that speaks to you. But God will prosper you if you will keep focusing on that relationship with Him this year. To remove the compromise, the sin, allow the presence of God to be on our shoulders so that we might have intimacy then we can access our covenant promise. We can achieve and accomplish the dreams that God wants us to have. 
So what I want you to do right now as we, I want you to just stand to your feet and I want you to ask the Lord, what is it in your life that he wants you to hope for? Whether you've let it go or whether you haven't, you may not be in a place in your life where you've, where you've buried it. But if it's buried, and allow that hope to arise. And then I want you to ask the Lord where you have broken covenant with him, with the others. If it is a past relationship that can't be repaired, put it under the blood. But make a point in your life to be able to say, I'm going to walk in covenant. I'm going to walk in the covenant blessings of God so that I can access what God has. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray for hearts right now to be touched. Lord, I pray for hopes that have been buried to be ignited today. Lord, I prophesy the hope of each person here today, watching online, the God hope that is there, that it would be ignited and brought to the forefront, that it would become the very matter and the substance of the faith that they put in you. Father, I break the power of the lies of the enemy where covenant might have been broken, where they might have moved out of timing, and that the enemy says that it's over, it's no good, it'll never happen, don't believe it. I break that now. I break that curse today. In the name of Jesus, I break it off and I release and activate the very hope of God in their spirit today. Father, I thank you that you're a God of covenant. And because of the new covenant, we can put our broken covenants under the blood today. Father, forgive us where we've broken covenant. Forgive us where we've done it knowingly and unknowingly. Where we rebelled in pride against you. We break the power of that spirit over any of us today, Lord. We break it here at the altar of God at Life Center in the name of Jesus. And we declare that we are a covenant people, Lord, in covenant with you. And Father, now we declare that the manifestation and the encounter of God that you desire to bring on this body, on this sanctuary, on our hope, on our dreams. Let the encounter counter of God begin to manifest today Lord let it manifest the month of February let there be a manifestation of an encounter with God on our hopes and our dreams father we agree together as a body and we seal it now in the name of Jesus if you agree with that say amen thank you I believe God's done a work in here today